Okay, so this is a short video that's a review of the Open University module S217, Physics from Classical to Quantum. Now this is a wonderful module. It's exceptionally broad. And in places it can be fairly deep as well, but it's more broad than it is deep and it's exceptionally broad. It covers a lot of physics. It's one of those modules where your mind is continuously blown by the beauty of physics. Um, and yes, yeah, so we're going to go through it really quickly. I'm very happy to have achieved the distinction in this module. I got 95 as my final grade. And a lot of that is thanks to an amazing tutor that, that helped me a lot during the way. I, I gave her, I had lots of questions. We had email exchanges and she took a lot of time to give me very detailed responses for which I'm incredibly grateful. A wonderful tutor. So um, you just, yeah, fantastic module. There, there's just so much wonderful physics covered. So let's have a quick look. It starts with unit 99, which is a maths revision unit. And you, know, you have to be really good with your algebra and your trigonometry. Um, there's differentiation chain rule throughout. There's not too much integration. In fact, you don't have to evaluate integrals. You just need to understand how to represent um, area under a curve as an integral. So they, they try and make it a bit lighter mathematically in terms of the integral calculus, but you do have to be proficient at applying physics to derive equations from other equations by analyzing the physics of the situation, usually through trigonometry and algebraic manipulation, maybe a bit of derivation, uh, differentiation rather. So um, yeah, so this is a good unit. It gives you everything you need mathematically speaking. Okay, and then if, you, now if you're coming from another, like MST124, uh, if you're coming from that module, um, you'll have everything you need for this and more. Okay, and then so unit one, let's just go through basic uh, motion, one-dimensional motion. Um, it's a good unit. It covers um, fundamental things that you must make sure you have a good grasp on. And then it goes into motion in two dimensions. Um, and then periodic motion, which is a very important unit that introduces simple harmonic oscillation, which is fundamental in physics. And it goes into damped um, and driven oscillation, very important unit. Um, and then forces. So we go from kinematics to dynamics. So we get to, I um, mean, I enjoy this. I really enjoy these kinds of problems. They're, they're really fun, these um, kinematics and dynamics problems. So forces. And then we, we go into energy, conservation of energy, that kind of thing. Um, and, uh, and work and just understanding what all of that means. It's a shorter unit. And then momentum collisions, very, very important. Conservation of momentum and conservation of kinetic energy, elastic and inelastic collisions, very important um, concepts to be fluent with. Um, and understanding these powerful concepts can enable you to solve things much faster Understanding energy and momentum, um, you can understand that you can solve things much faster than if you had to do it through um, dynamics or kinematics because of these powerful conservation rules. Unit 7, torque and angular momentum. This was actually quite a tricky um, unit. You have to be, you know, you have to apply the right hand rule and torque and angular momentum can be very counterintuitive. Um, and, you know, things like gyroscopes and gyros gyroscopic precession, they can be very, very counterintuitive. And then, um, you know, solving statics problems by um, solving forces and torques independently can be quite tricky. But I thought it was a really fulfilling unit. But if you're doing this module, be prepared that this is going to be a, a unit that you're going to spend more time on. And um, it is difficult, but very important because now we're speaking about cross products and very, very important concepts, angular momentum, very important concepts in physics and uh, moments of inertia and all of that kind of stuff. Okay, and then we, we go into to fields and gravitational electric forces in fields. Then we go from fields to potentials. Um, so yeah, this is also very, very important. Um, understanding the difference between potential, don't confuse potential and potential energy and equipotentials and fields, one's scalar, one's a vector, and understanding all of that, it can be tricky as well. Um, and uh, it's something that you need to get fluent with and something I'll probably review before I do electromagnetism. 
and then electric currents, magnetic fields, and Lorentz force law. So we're already getting into electromagnetism now, and then fields that vary with time. So we're getting into, um, you know, into the fundamental laws of electromagnetism. Um, and um, but we don't go too too deep into the math. We, like, we mentioned Maxwell's equations, but we and we we see them written, and we understand where they come from, the physics behind them. And we solve problems, and we um, we we get to things like uh, cyclotron motion and all of that really interesting stuff. Um, and motors and generators, really really fascinating stuff. Um, and these units are in. A TMA that is um, a summative TMA, so it counts for marks. Also, a special relativity is in that TMA too, um, and special relativity is mind bending. So, but these units over here, um, 11, 12, 13, 10 as well, I think. 10, no, no, 10 is in the exam. 11 to 13, it's just covered in that TMA. Um, so, these three units are just in a TMA, not in the exam. Okay, and very interesting units, and I'm going to review them again before I do electromagnetism, and I'll review special relativity again before I do advanced topics in physics, or I would do that before doing general relativity if you do that unit. Okay, then we go to waves and electromagnetic radiation. Now, this is starting to pave the way to quantum mechanics, so we understand the wave equation, how waves and harmonics and all of that works, standing waves. And all of these kinds of things which give you a good platform to understand quantum mechanics um, it also follows nicely because we're speaking about electromagnetic radiation so it follows nicely from maxwell's amazing discovery and then optics is very interesting i really like optics um, and yeah so we learn optics um, and we look at compound microscopes telescopes uh, lenses um, and uh, yeah it's a it's a very fun Get, get to draw lots of um, lens diagrams and, and solve problems like that. It's quite a fun unit. Okay, then we atoms and phases of matter. Okay, now we're starting to pave the way to thermodynamics. Okay, and microscopic models of gases. And then we, we jump into thermodynamics. And I loved thermodynamics and, and statistical mechanics. I loved those topics. Really fascinating. Um, and yeah, so, and, and because we're dealing with statistical mechanics it kind of follows nicely into quantum so we're going to the quantum revolution and this was one of my favorite units unit 20 applications and interpretations of wave mechanics and they mention the different interpretations of quantum mechanics and it's really mind-bending again i was it was almost a spiritual a terrible word but it was a deep experience this module for me it's very baffling and I don't know which interpretation I think is correct and I think that's probably the correct way to think quantum mechanics in atoms this is very important too um, and with all of this quantum revolution we learn you know Heisenberg's uncertainty principle wave particle duality we're getting to Schrodinger's equation we look at some solutions to Schrodinger's equation and how those solutions um, you know allow for quantized energy levels in atoms which describe um, and we also look at uh, you know we have Bose ga gases and crystal structure we look at um, you know bosons and fermions bosons being sociable and fermions not being sociable so fermions um, cannot be in the, in the same quantum state so um, they kind of force to a different quantum state creating this this pressure um, and um, that's very interesting too. All of this is deeply, deeply interesting. Um, and we look at solid state physics. We look at uh, you know uh, semiconductors and how they work, p-type, n-type semiconductors, and how they are doped to to make them work. And it all follows very, very nicely. Um, and then we're going to nuclear physics. Um, also very interesting. We look at the value of stability binding energy um, and yeah fusion fission stars um, and then we go into particle physics and the particle zoo um, and, and these again follow very nicely from quantum they are in fact you could argue branches of quantum mechanics so it's as you can see i mean i did a, a speedy i just really named the um 
titles of each unit. I didn't go into the details of the unit. There's so much in here. Uh, 25 units, 60 credit module. It's very broad. You cover a lot of ground. Um, you should review for the exam as early as you can. They provide you with 500 short questions. I would do those short questions. I did all of them, except I didn't finish the ones from 11 to 13 because I'd already done that TMA. Got 95 for that um, TMA. Um, and I got 93 for the exam. And I think there was a, an adjustment or something because of COVID and I ended up with 95 as my final score. Um, but I did 440 of those 500 short questions. And some of them are quite challenging. So those short questions, past papers, as many as you can. And just looking through this, I know there's stuff that I'm gonna to wanna to read through again. I'm gonna read through units 11 through 13 again for sure. Optics, yeah, you know, I sometimes forget it. some details about optics. I'm gonna dip back into this unit again for sure. Uh, thermodynamics was so, I mean, th there's so much stuff that I'm gonna actually <laughs> review again and again. I'll probably at some point just do a dirty read through the entire module again, because it's just so much interesting stuff. And it's hard for me to remember things at a level that I'm satisfied with, unless I review regularly. Um, the quantum is really, really wonderful, but I'm going to be doing quantum mechanics and electromagnetism next year. So I will cover a lot of that stuff again um, anyway. And when we get to stochastic and deterministic dynamics, we'll be looking at dynamics again, but more mathematically. Um, and advanced topics of physics, we're going to be going back into relativity and, and all of this other stuff, nuclear particle again. And astrophysics as well, another module I'm going to do. A lot of these same topics are covered again. So we, learning is iterative, um, and it should be that way. That's how you consolidate your learning. But anyway, I've gone on long enough. Great module, very broad, uh, very fulfilling. Um, but make sure you keep ahead, I would say, if you were to ask me for advice. And do plenty of past papers, do the short questions. Practice, practice, practice. It's been said before by many, I'll say it again, because it's true, physics is not a spectator sport. Good luck.